is Jeremy, and I work at the Center for Infrastructure Assurance and Security at UTSA and serve as an advisor on the Cyber Threat Defender card game. This video walks players through constructing a Cyber Threat Defender deck based on the Personnel Booster. So to acquire the cards to build this deck, you go to ciasmarketplace.com and then select the cards. From there, you will add two starter decks and then four personnel boosters. And here we'll pick English to your cart and then check out. One great thing about this deck is that you can build it in English or Spanish. Just choose for Spanish, just choose the Cyber Threat Defender starter deck in Spanish. And then when you purchase the personnel deck from there, you can select Spanish as well. Let's take a look at the cards in our security team deck. The purpose of this deck is to use different asset personnel and defense cards to build out a team and then to use our CISO to generate points from cards, many of which don't normally generate points on their own. So let's take a look at the different cards in the deck. It has three CISOs, one desktop computer, one ISP connection. We, we play with one of each of these because you get to start the game with them in play and you might as well gain the two points that your opponent's gonna get. Four IT security consultants, one security engineer, four security managers, four hacktivists, and four rogue employees. The purpose of this deck is not to attack our opponent, but, but sometimes it will stall and you'll need to reduce your opponent's ability to gain points. Two anti-malware slash virus, two host-based firewall, two OS update and patch, four penetration testers, four security system administrators, we have two budget increase, four forgot patch, four power outage, and four recruitment drive. A sort of essential component of the security team deck is to expedite and increase the probability of drawing a power outage card. This card is particularly powerful and it's a key component of the deck because it allows us to gain points while preventing our opponents from playing cards or earning points. So we expedite and increase the probability of drawing this card um, through cards such as the IT Security Consultant, which allows us to replace, it functionally replaces itself by draw, um, drawing one card. And then if you happen to draw one of our defense cards, it, it gives you another card. And then the recruitment drive allows us to discard a card in order to draw three more cards. And the great thing about the recruitment drive is that because it's an event, it doesn't take up one of the three assets, defenses, or attacks that we play in a turn. But there's also a filtering card. Um, the security manager allows us to take a card from our hand and place it on the bottom of the deck. And all of that is to just basically increase the probability that we're gonna to get to the cards that we need, particularly the power outage. Let's see the deck in action. All right, let's play a game. Play the security team deck against the attack bot. So if you remember, one of the keys of this deck is to get to the power outage so that we can gain life or points. Well, our opponent. Okay, so that was a, that ended up being a really good play on our part. So my my thinking is we'll play the IT security consultant, the I, uh, security manager, and then the CISO. Uh, we'll make that all worth 
at least three points this turn when normally the security manager isn't worth any points. So we'll play the security consultant and we actually drew an extra card because the first card we drew was a defense. So it didn't generate any points. Gonna go ahead and play the Forgot Patch and make our opponent discard a card. And then we'll play the Power Outage. And lastly, we'll activate the Security Manager so that we can filter one of these cards from our hand, put on the bottom of our deck, and draw another card. So, end our turn. And now we have to filter. Rogue Employee is probably the least valuable these cards okay. so because we had the power outage they didn't really get to play and we gained five points <clears throat> so I think that we probably want to use our recruitment drive to discard a hacktivist and draw some additional cards we didn't get uh, another power outage. So what we'll want to do is build out some defenses. The system, the security system admin, uh, will generate a point because we've got a CISO and it it's actually pretty good. It it removes and prevents attack hacks, attack data breach, and attack phishing cards. So that's pretty nice. Um, not so interested in. OS patch, they make us discard a card, but I'm going to do another security consultant because um, we do draw a card, so there is a chance we get some more card draw. Another IT security consultant, which is pretty good. So you don't want to draw too many cards if you don't have the power outage because you sort of have to discard cards unnecessarily. I think we want to use the take advantage of the filtering option here and we'll get um, an extra point. And so we're gonna have to discard cards because we have too many. But we'll because we have two security managers, we'll actually be kind of drawing four cards off the top. So end our turn. Um, the OS patch, I think, is probably least valuable. And then because we have penetration tester, we can go get the host base firewall. I'm going to put one of the penetration testers on the bottom. It's going to make us discard two cards and use a hacktivist, right? And then I do hate to get rid of a penetration tester here, but I'm going to do that. All right, they play a denial card. So our firewall would be pretty good here. We'll get rid of that. Next turn. All right. First thing I do is draw cards. No luck. So we just kind of keep playing out our defenses, building out our security team, gaining points. And we'll filter through. Still three left, and you know, since we've been putting cards on the bottom, there's not 26 left to draw from for the power outage. There it is. So even though it won't work on this turn, we will play that as soon as we can, because they, they can make us discard a card. And we might lose our power outage. So it doesn't apply on this turn, but it does on the next. And we're set up really nicely because we have a recruitment drive allow us to draw three cards. Let's get rid of the rogue employee. All right. So we need nine points on this turn to win. And 
looks like we have only can get uh, not quite there on this turn, but we've got you know draw some more cards, and there's a good probability that especially when we filter that it will get another power outage. All right. There it is. So we should be able, this should be all we need to win. All right, power outage. Why is security consultant for good measure? Budget increase. I mean, we should activate those cards even though we should win. End our turn. Draw our cards. Seven points. And there it is, game over, we win. So that's 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 how the deck works, and it, it worked out pretty well that, that turn, even though we, we didn't get the uh, powder outages and an even distribution, but the ability to draw cards and filter with the security manager and then using the CISO to generate points from some of those other cards are kind of the keystones of, of this deck, and they're kind of, in my mind, what makes it kind of fun to play. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye.